Well, it's raining again. What's up, YouTube? Another rainy day. It is not Texas, though, <laughs> as you can see by the tall trees in the background. So, I know it's been a while since my last video update, but we have moved yet again. So, not even in Texas anymore. Anyway, so I wanted to come up and show you something else that I've created for the bug. I'm going to start some videos called, I guess, Budget Bug, or Bug on a Budget, I don't know, whichever. But basically little cheap modifications that I've done to the Beetle, to uh, because I don't want to spend a lot of money on it. I mean, for crying out loud, this is an $800 car. So, can't complain too much about that, but I want to save much, as much money as possible. So, I'll show you the cool thing that I did for it uh, recently. Sorry, it's dark in my garage, so I have to do this kind of with a flashlight. But, as you can see, this is the inside of a Volkswagen Beetle, and if you know anything about them, there's like zero storage inside of these things. So, I don't even have the door pockets on this one, because these are cheap aftermarket door panels with nothing. So, um, for this, since there's no storage in here, um, you can get the shelf, the bamboo shelf that goes underneath the dash, which I plan on doing eventually. Or, you can get the little basket that goes right here on the little center hump, but those things are fifty dollars. Fifty dollars for a little metal or wire basket that goes on your hump there. So, kind of ridiculous. And since it's a stick, if you want to hold like a drink or something in your um, lap, it's very difficult because you're working the clutch. So, oh yeah, there's my glove box door that I did. Howard. So Howard's the name of the car. Um, kind of did a little gear VW cog uh, emblem there for the middle and a little bit of uh, pinstriping on there so anyway um, back to what I was doing so no storage so I'll tell you how I decided to remedy so you see this little basket here went to Target and they had these little baskets for like $5.99 up front and it actually had a couple little handles that went across the top so you can pick it up, a little carrying basket. It's not very big, but I was looking at it and I said, you know what, that's about the size of those little VW storage baskets. So I picked that sucker up, and it's metal, and it's got the little like rubberized coating on it, so it's real durable. Um, and it's kind of fancy. I think they had it in red, black, and like white. So I figured, car's red, might as well go red. And then contrast the floor, because if it was black, you couldn't see it. So then, how to set it over the hump. So I went to Goodwill. And they had this thing, which is also a wire. It's a little bit thicker wire, but it has the coating on it. Now, this is only half of the thing. Obviously, I've already cut it. But uh, I have no idea what this thing is, but I paid $1.99 for it. So, some sort of storage rack. I don't know. So, your guess is as good as mine. Go ahead and leave it in the comment if you know. But, guess what? It fits perfectly over the hump. So... Four zip ties attaches this sucker to the bottom of this. Now, as you can see, it is offset because there isn't much room on the floor. So, when I set it in there like this, it clears my leg. I'll show you here just a All right. So, once again, flashlight lighting. Sorry about that. Okay, and here it is in the vehicle. Go a little bit wider. So, not a bad little setup. This thing locks into the hump like amazingly so good and sturdy clears the shifter and plenty of room sorry i'm wearing flip-flops so you can see my toes but uh plenty of room alongside the leg no interference whatsoever uh, my daughter jumped in said there's plenty of room on that side now this is actually a little wider i'd say probably an inch or so wider than the baskets that you can actually buy so um obviously i don't have any cup holder in it right now, I plan on probably running to the AutoZone, get a couple of those little cheapio plastic ones, and zip tying those in, just so I can have a cup holder in there. But, man, for now, this thing works great. So, I can uh, hang my sunglasses off it. There we go. Bam. Good to go. And even my window de-icer, or defroster, <laughs> right there. And kind of whatever all the else I need to put in there. Okay, back at it. It's the next day. 
to work on getting some cup holders put in here. So what I did, went to AutoZone, they had the two pack of Bell drink holders for $3.99. Not exactly the style that I wanted, but I think it'll work because these are a little flexible and have some give to them. So I should be able to put in multiple different size drinks. These are just the ones that kind of hook on your window ledge. So I'll take these off and figure out how I want to mount them inside there. Alright, so I ended up just cutting the bottom off of the window ledge holder to slide it out of the back of here. Now it does have this little lip at the top, but because the side of the tray is actually, or the basket is actually tapered, I don't think I'm even going to bother cutting that off because it doesn't matter. So I should, let's see, I think I'll mount it kind of right here in the corner. Should go in there fairly easy. Let's see. So, figure out how I'm going to do that real quick. So, what I did is uh, set these in here how I want to have them. Now I can either have them like this or I can mount them against the sides like that. But I think, yeah, I think I'm going to mount them to the front like this because I have room to expand either way. Anyway, so what I did, took a scribe, marked on each side of the supports where I want these to actually mount, and then I will drill the mounting holes for the mounting hardware. There we go. As you can see, I drilled a couple holes in these. Um, I drilled out, drilled about three sixteenths in each one. So four holes total that I will use for the mounting hardware, which is going to be uh, black zip ties. So making it nice and lightweight, easy, and if I want to change something, guess what? It doesn't take a whole lot to change it. So that's what I'm going with for now. So, so got these mounted. All we have to do now is clip the excess. And I got, of course, the world's smallest cutters to do so. Come on. They must be dull as can be. Get those clipped off, and there we go. Nice and sturdy. So, knocking things on the floor. Here we go. Ready to go. Bam. And bam. <laughs> oh my god, is he drinking a strawberry blonde? Yep. Tell me a strawberry blonde that you don't like, Kirsten Dunst. Absolutely. Here we go. So, all ready. Reinstall it. And it's good to go in the car. So, I needed to replace the windshield wipers on the Volkswagen. So I went to O'Reilly or uh, AutoZone, and they don't carry them for Volkswagen Beetle, but O'Reilly's does. So there you go. So you got to go get windshield wiper blades for Volkswagen Beetle. Um, there's a part number C1106. They're 11 inch, and they carry them at O'Reilly's, but not at AutoZone. So there you go. Well, if you're having the problem like I had, this thing was overheating. So, what I ended up doing was this little trick right there. Basically take a tennis ball, cut a slot in it, and hook it right over your latch. And then, what it will do is it will hook, and it will set right there on that latch, and it will always keep, a, keep your um, deck lid slightly open. So, I know you can get the brackets to set it up off there, but then it scoops in a lot of water, so like this. It always keeps it open. Now if I push the button it will completely close and the ball will stay on there. But usually I just drive around like this, especially being in the south. Keeps it nice and vented, no overheat issues anymore. So uh, I think that's it for our bug on a budget episode. So stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.